Morning. Summer camps are starting up, but a lot of changes have been made to accommodate CDC guidelines for COVID-19. Many are limiting the number of campers and finding ways to keep kids socially distant. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon is live outside the Birmingham Zoo, one of the city's popular summer camps. Hillary. Yeah, Alyssa, our Birmingham Zoo is excited to welcome kids back for, for their summer camp starting next Monday. A very educational, but of course, a lot of changes are being made for all the camps due to COVID-19 because their biggest priority, of course, is the safety of kids. And you're going to notice that at all the summer camps that are going to be open this summer. For example, at the Levitt Jewish Community Center, they already started up their pre-camp session for just members. Now it's told this was to help staff get the hang of the new changes and provide relief to parents and kids who have been cooped up inside for months. Tina Weldon, the camp director of the LJCC, says this is her fifth year as the camp director and she's never been so stressed. But she ensures they are following every guideline because the safety of everyone is the utmost importance. We have to take their temperature. We have to give them hand sanitizer before they can enter the building. They have to enter with their mask on. I never would have thought we would have a day where we would have camp with masks. Um, but we've been making it work. It's been a challenge, but I think that the campers get it. Weldon says they try to spend a lot of time outdoors where no mask is needed and social distancing. Now, those eight and under, they don't have to wear a mask, but kids older do, as well as, of course, the staff. Now, the LJCC says they are still welcoming camper applications. They're taking 30 kids per each grade, but here at the Birmingham Zoo, they are completely full. Live in Birmingham, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. In continuing.